Hello everyone! Long time haven't seen you all. Well, I'm back, my channel is back and that means that I finally received my fuselage kit. Yeah, that's how it's happened. Just recently I went to Oregon to Vance and I picked up my uh, fuselage kit for my RV-10. So now I have lots of work to do. Well, unfortunately uh, there are a few back-ordered parts and um, those actually are four, four back-ordered parts. Uh, two are actually the uh, control sticks, which are not needed at this point, but two another important parts are actually the landing gear mounts. And those parts are on back order. So I guess I still can start my fuselage kit because there are lots of other things to do. Uh, and I just can, well, basically just avoid working on those parts which requires the landing gear um, mounts for now. But hopefully I will get them really soon. I already sent an email to Vance with a question when I may expect those, so we will see what they can answer. I hope it's not going to take long and by beginning of summer I will finally get my parts. So it's time to start, but before I'll just make a quick inventory of my kit, I'll just show you what's happening. So basically this video is more about inventory rather than about the actual build process. But I promise I will start work on the fuselage kit as soon as I can. Within the next week I'm planning to already start it. I just have to rearrange the things because it's lots of parts here and my hangar is not that big and I still have another, I mean I have another airplane here in and I have my wings on the side so I just need to find more space. Anyway, let's move on. Well, so by going from the left to right I put all parts here on the table. Well, as I said, I haven't received the um, main gear, landing gear mounts and control sticks, but the rest should be here. I have not done inventory completely yet, I just started it. But, as you can see, lots of, lots of materials. So, well, basically the skins, I guess it's a bottom skin, side skins. Well, they're quite sick, I must say. Yeah, they're quite sick. Um, that's, uh, that's for the pedals, like for the rudder control pedals. Those are, I guess, steps. Yeah, those are the steps, side steps. This is something related to controls, control column. So, again, I should be missing something from that, but we will see. We will see what I have anyway. Uh, here we have a big box with all sort of rivets, nuts, everything. This is a big box. I have to go through inventory and inv in, uh, do an inventory and everything and lots of uh, paper bags on the bottom here. So, well, kind of cool. Uh, kind of cool to see. It's a big, a big amount of uh, uh, quantity of parts, large quantity of parts. So I'll have to, well, to find a place for that and to arrange it. Now, that for the air inlets, I guess. So that's something related to the firewall and for the air probably probably for the heater this is some some support some mounts some support mounts made out of metal quite heavy wow all those parts are even more heavier so i guess yeah this is some some uh, some critical parts like some core parts which hold the fuselage assembly all together here we have some angles mounts lots of things aluminum Hoses, piping, uh, plumbing for the fuel, for the, I guess most likely for the brake lines as well. Some plastic uh, tubing for the uh, static air, I guess. I think so, I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Now, uh, this is the flap position system. Interesting, yeah, I, I remember ordering that. So that's, I guess, a sensor itself, right? Yeah, that looks like a sensor which will show the position. So it has to be installed somehow, somewhere. But, well, I'm, it's still a long time until I get to that. So I'll just put it on the shelf. That's my switch. Well, about the switches. Actually, I like that style of switches. So maybe I'm gonna stick with those. I mean, there are lots of options for Vans, right? For the panel. I want on my panel all uh, switches to be the same type. I don't want to put like different types, so. Probably that's what I want to stick. Recently I was installing some avionics on the um, some experimental airplane here and uh, the uh, my friend who actually uh, asked me 
asked me to help him. He actually bought all those from the spruce. So I, I like this type of switches, it's nice. Now, what do we ha else have here? That's again for the air, I guess for the air inlet and you can control amount of the hot air probably. Brake cylinders, yeah. Made by whom? Made by Matco, oh, of course Matco, okay, good. I remember replacing one of those some time ago on Diamond D20 with my Amy here locally, yeah, so that that should work too. That I already discovered, it's a brake cylinder, so for the brake fluid, the cylinder. Uh, some mounts, something has to probably move in and out. That's quite thick metal here, I mean aluminum here, that's something strong. I guess that should be mounted to probably to the to the lingeron, I guess, well, middle part of the lingeron. Oh, by the way, um, Vance used to supply uh, l wing lingerons along with the lingeron for, for fuselage all together, but since the last year they no longer supply the middle part they just supply it with a fuselage kit. So basically now it's more straight. So now if you order if your fuselage kit first before wings, I guess you are totally fine because you will get your uh, center lingeron part and you can start. So, well, yeah, that's kind of cool. It's interesting. I just read recently about it. That's a whole bag of something. I don't know what. Uh, this is a flap, uh, flap motor. Eh? It, it's quite small, but it is a flap motor, so it's a thing which moves flaps. 12, 23, 20, so basically it's a 23rd uh, December 20th manufacturing date, I guess, or batch. Vans, oh, huh, eh, interesting. Yeah, so that's a flap, uh, flaps motor. Here we have our firewall, which we will have reinforced with all sort of the uh, bars and aluminum. Uh, that's a static air kit, which is again, that's what I need. I have. I, I think. I think by mistake I bought two of those. You know. I think I have another extra one, but it's fine. I mean, it it, it never it never hurts to have extra. Uh, here we have some rivets and some kit for I don't know what. Again, it's a Willen power mount. Oh, okay. That's for the Willen power uh, mount for the wings uh, for the strobe lights. I remember ordering that separately, so that's not a part of the kit. That's my service bulletin 002 for my rudder. And yes, it's arrived. Great. Perfect. Good. I will replace that. That's a mount for the HRS system, uh, HRS bracket. This is, this is related again to the controls. And those hoses, since they're pre-manufactured, I guess that's for the fuel. So that should be related to the fuel. Now that's I ordered some extra rivets and now let's slowly move to the actually aluminum parts huge amount it, it doesn't look that like in the video probably it doesn't look like it's a lot but in fact it's a lot comparing I remember getting my wings kit and uh, there were also lots of parts but here are so many small parts and lots of fun for my kids removing that uh, bluish uh, protective layer so my kids love to do that that's our uh, that's our ribs for the bottom floors I guess I already looked into the uh, into the assembly instructions a bit so I'm aware of that okay that's our hinge piano hinges lots of piano hinges so I guess lots of things should be easily mounted and removed Maybe something even goes for calling. I don't know if finishing kit includes those piano hinges or is just uh, everything already pre-came here for the calling, for the nose, for the front calling. Again, aluminum angles and uh, I remember someone, someone who was build, assembling the Vans kit. Um, I think it was Ellis. Uh, I was looking at his video. He was talking about those aluminum angles and the step one which requires two short angles and he was curious which one to cut first and he I think went with the short one so probably I have to do the same I have to I have to think about it I remember first step requires to get two little angles cut and that cat that cut has to be um, done actually uh, it's not saying from which angle it should be done anyway that's how it is and that's our top 
canopy part that's huge that's big and i like actually that it's uh, made out of the um this plastic material i really like the fact that it's how it's made it's heavy it's quite robust i like it i know a lots of sanding lots of cutting here but yeah well i'm getting ready for that composite materials are always uneasy to work with especially without experience and i have zero experience with, with composite materials but yeah i was made out of composite material oh quite interesting eh? that's cool that's a hall inside of the airplane my kids already had a chance to go inside here actually and just to pretend they're in the airplane well they're small so they fit i'm not <laughs> okay yeah nice so that's how it is and those are this is a windshield that's our windshield uh, windshield yeah it's well packaged so all looks great and that's our side windows for here so those side windows are as you can see they're a little bit dark so a little bit tinted I don't know like 5% tinted maybe like 95% allowance for the light or maybe 10% tinted like 90% light allowance which is good it's good I mean it's, it's totally fine because well you don't want to be exposed to the sunlight especially when you're at high altitude in a small airplane uh, well it's experience <laughs> sometimes sometimes in the summer it's really warm uh, also on the ground so it's good well that's how it is basically now I need to find a place for my canopy where to store it because until the time comes it's gonna take some time before I uh, start to, to actually install it and work on it yeah I have to a little bit rearrange my hanger as you can see I still have lots of things here my wings which which are movable easily movable and uh, yeah I still have to attach fuel tanks which I think I will do because no point keeping them there especially they're already fully tested and fuel tanks are 100% fine so that's how it is getting ready to start and hopefully i'll start very soon i just have to figure which step i should start first because of missing um, the um, uh, main landing gears mounts so probably i'll start with the second step but as soon as i start i will make my video and you will see it all right, so well, basically I uh, did the inventory of the whole wings kit. So far so good, everything is in place. I uh, didn't find any missing parts. And um, yeah, except I, of course I didn't, I haven't count each rivet, but that's probably not needed, right? <laughs> I have enough. And uh, yeah, I reorganized my space here. I moved everything aside. So now I have like middle uh, part here quite big space enough to build a fuselage uh, for now uh, empty and free I can start my work I'm ready to start so next video will be my video about me building everything here and uh, thank you for watching subscribe to my channel and I will uh, stay in touch and I will um, update you on my progress on building of RV10 fuselage see you next video bye